Hi everyone, I'm in Bucharest, the capital of Romania, and I saw a really interesting building walking around the city today. I did a little bit of research and I want to share the building and some history about it with you. But first let me tell you something about the period in which this building was built. It was just after the Second World War, and the Second World War was really a big mess of all kinds of different ideologies flowing through each other, more than in other countries even. Uh, in, in Romanian history writing, the war is even divided into two separate wars, the Second World War proper, in which the regime of Antonescu was allied with the fascists and they fought together against the communists and afterwards there was the anti-Hitler war um, in which King Michael I led a coup together with the communists yes that's right monarchists and communists fighting together against the Axis forces that occupied Romania and after the Second World War, two years after, 1947, the king, King Michael, was deposed by the communists and the communist dream regime here in Romania started. During my stay in Romania, I've seen several different styles of architecture from the socialist period. There's the sort of neo-Stalinist, Stalinist revival promoted by Ceausescu and his wife near the end of the communist period. There's the cheap, concrete and still kind of playful really distinct Romanian style of cheap affordable housing but I think this building and buildings like it really reflect the mess of different ideologies that was present here in Romania at the beginning of the socialist period just after the second world war it's the building of Radio Romania and in its style you can really clearly see influences from fascist architecture not strange for a country that was aligned with the fascists during the second world war at least during the beginning of the war but strangely this style continued after the change to a socialist regime here you can see that really the only shape in the design of this building is the rectangle every line you see is either horizontal or vertical every line is perfectly straight there are no rounded edges even the columns you see on this entrance over here are square the only exception to this perfect horizontal and vertical structure is over there behind the entrance and that is the concert hall of this radio building and I think that is very typical of fascist architecture I think what sets this style apart from Stalinist architecture, which is not completely dissimilar to the fascist style you see here, is a complete lack of ornaments and of round shapes. Here you can see the interior of the entrance to the concert hall. I really, really like this classical 20th century interior, very cool, and the sunlight makes it even more pretty so yeah fascist architecture built under the communist regime many times we think of architecture from the 20th century to be inherently linked to some kind of ideology but here the architects that were designing things during the fascist times they just kept in their job during the communist regime still designing buildings i hope you enjoyed the video and enjoyed looking at this building i think it's pretty i think it's interesting and i hope to see you next time in my next video